That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. This is technically either talking because he's okay, possessing well, her. I'm kidding. Just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. Don't Strange. give it away, cat. Your cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Arwood and Marut. Ah, oh, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. A mess? Well, um... Could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project? I'm on. Work? Get back. I really just want to get it over with. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... How are we gonna spin this? Oh ho ho, the god has spoken. <laughs> Sorry, your new laugh is just so hilarious. Is that, is that wrong? To those kinds of details. The gods are asking. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? There we go. Why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, uh. I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies. Dang, we're really hitting her emotional points and there. If I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? Hmm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is Oh, course, that's gonna get her. The wisest and mightiest I think. of all. The Scarlet King. The S Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the academia. What? How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? Wait. From the acad... What? Why would the academia spread this one? This misinformation campaign? That makes no sense. I thought the academia did not like the Scarlet King at all. Huh? King's Death Death Resurrection, Resurrection is, is a misinformation, misinformation campaign? campaign? What insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice? That's hard wisdom? to read. Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. <sighs> I will think very carefully about his demand. Oh, the academia spread this information. That makes no sense. Off in a hurry, she looked pretty upset too. I mean, we got her in an emotional hit. Sitaria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. But something is wrong, though. Have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her. That must have shaken her to the core. <laughs> she's like, Rita, what? It seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haribata theories. In any case. 
My time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. God, we learn it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. Right. She's at Akim's now, right on cue. Let's get ready to possess him right away. A misinformation spread by the academia. What motive would they have to spread mis to spread that? What motive would they have? Come on, you're used to this by now. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Uh, masonry work. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Um... I'd say walking, yeah. He's feeling a lot better, and he's walking more now. Oh, that's good to hear. I have been thinking a lot about him. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Please pass on that recently, faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper and has always been a devout follower of the Denger Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh, so who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia oh, there we go. Or the Scarlet King. Uh, I. <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child. Oh, this is not this. ominous at all. Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the. Damn, Academia. Ether. Akim, you don't mean. You've also become a believer of the Scarlet King. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet oh, King? Oh, look over there, you In idiot. Fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? C can't pick a side? Me? Whoa. Paimon had no idea you'd be so good at this. I wasn't too harsh, was I? You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming. Oh, then time. I'm assuming. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain everything. Anyway, let's keep huh. going. I'm assuming the last person that we're gonna talk to, because she's from Leeway, she's gonna try to really appeal to, um, the Terry's desire to return to the homeland, I guess. So, Shishan, there we go. Have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? No, I've been spending all my time studying the basement. Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus festival so many times that I lost count. Don't say that, that you idiot. That's really weird. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Why are you going that front forward with this one? Jishan, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should oh, be ashamed ho, ho, damn. for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. I did not think that's, this is what they're going to do with Shishan. you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental damn. subjects? Please, please stop! Yes, yeah, Atarius, gone. Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problems. Did I push too hard? She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards! What should we do? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. 
heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their Wait, side. We didn't even know about heretics. What kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King. Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal. And all who Why is this him what will one day pay the price. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous Oh, path, okay. And the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will Either be Either you are brutal. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wild Yeah, Sataria's gonna lose her mind. In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet Oh my god. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Yeah, that really got her. It seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans. And from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. It's not too late to turn back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? <sighs> How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, Perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. Hmm. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Never thought we used the belief of the Scarlet be King to, 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 to get us by the Academia of all things. Please tell me, what can I do for you? Great, we, we finally, finally convinced her. <clears throat> How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme. Which is what happened around the Subzerus festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. So there's only one part of the project. The highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. Like who? I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city. And even the Sage is. Oh my god! Oh no 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 no! What do you mean by this? When when did he come back? When did he come back? Are you kidding me? So he was expelled. You have got to be kidding me, dude! Oh. I, I'm not gonna say anything, but I, I think for people that follow slower, you guys not know who this guy is. Oh god. An, An outcast, outcast that even the sages are still worried worry of? To fight against the academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential Dude. documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage. And I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. When did he come back? One thing, though. When? I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Ah, oh, damn. Um, let me see. Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. 
I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. All right, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Just as Nahida predicted, right. we've managed to bring Sataria to our side! The Traveler's execution was ingenious. He's the one who deserves all the praise. Maybe we but should be hiding. Now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? Mm -mm. Oh? No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. The following night. Oh, that's really interesting. An expelled scholar that came back, so he was expelled. I was, I, so I wasn't mistaken about that. I always had a feeling. People are like, oh no, he wasn't expelled. He was always with the academia the whole time. No way! After everything, after all the messed up experience he's done? But why was he expelled? We all, we all know about his messed, current, really messed up experiments in the, right now. Currently. But what did he do back then? Hey, Catherine. Catherine, right? That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Can't we just call her Nahida? Shh. We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need I to never seen that post for Paimon. That's activity. amazing. Yep. Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. But that'll be After risky, all, though. The academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. they do. World. Yep, yep, exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. I somehow doubt that. Mm, anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which, don't you feel like something is off? Off? What do you feel is off? It's just a little too quiet around here. It's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? We, we've been through it. No, we've been through really. I think he's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. We've been through more extreme stuff, Paimon. I have no choice but to be paranoid. There seems to be few oh, people on the streets. Oh, crap. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Wait, now? Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early. That's not even so possible, though. The documents in peace. How? I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. Oh, no. But really? Now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. This better not be happening well, now. Regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. Oh, no. I, I already see what's going on. Oh, no. I already see what's going on. People out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. Oh no, I already see what's going on right now. Oh no. And I can't even go into both player. Yeah, we are so dead. <laughs> uh, if they just reveal this early, I'm gonna be shocked. I'm still gonna keep quiet because I want you guys to I want you guys to figure it out for yourself. Even though I think it's pretty obvious what the hell's going on. Oh, yep, it's happening. This is horrible. Stay back, Catherine. What are all these people doing? What the hell? 
What's going on with this? Ah, the triumphant hero you! at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do It's you! Myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. El Dottore. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some How? basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City. What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha. You mind control them? Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. What? As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. What do you mean? <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer Why you adoration. Why being me as a hero, though? Oh, no. What should we do? These are all just oh, we're, they're blocking us. Leave now. You need to get out of here. No, hey, we're not leaving you. That guy's a Fatui Harbinger. We can't just leave you here. Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru. No, hey, what are you doing? I, I, I didn't even see them because I'm so terrified, dude. Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. They save. I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be... Sure. The God of Wisdom. Run!